This is the solution to quiz one. <clears throat> okay. So those are just instructions. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, if we say that uh, x is zero point two zero one seven with the two zero one seven repeating notice that there are four repeating digits <coughs> repeating digits and therefore will multiply by 10 to exponent 4. So know what ha notice what happens when you do that. Uh, 10 to exponent 4, well that's 10,000. x is equal to 2017.2017 repeating <coughs> because that had the effect of shifting the decimal place four positions to the right. Uh, therefore, we got this 2017 right there, and then that's still repeating. So 10,000 uh, x's, and then minus 1x, that would be 2017.2017 with that part repeating, and then minus 0. 2017 with that part repeating. Well, this has been specifically arranged so that these two bits will cancel. So as a result, we have that 9999x nine, 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 nine is 2017. <coughs> so we could solve for x and obtain that x is 2017 over 9999. And then the question is, is can you, can you simplify that? Uh, well, <coughs> let's see. Can you simplify it? question. Well, uh, 9999, uh, 9999, nine, 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 nine. that is 9 multiplied by 1111. One, one. Uh, and let's see, what are some, <coughs> what are the divisors, uh, divisors of 1111. Let's see if we can figure some of them out. Okay, so it's not divisible by 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7. Well, maybe 7. So how big is the square root of that? <coughs> so uh, we only need to check factors up to 33, so how about uh, is 1111 divisible by 7? It is not. How about uh, 9? No. How about 10? No. Uh, 11? Ah, it is. So 1111, 1111 itself is equal to uh, 11 multiplied by 101. <coughs> Uh, how about 101? Is 101 divisible by anything? Uh, well, 101, it couldn't possibly be divisible by uh, anything smaller than 11, so not 11, uh, not 13. Okay, so nothing's going to work. So as a result, <coughs> we know that 9999 is 
9 multiplied by 11 multiplied by 101. And then the question is, does do any one of those divide 2017? 2017 over 9? Nope. 2017 over 11? Nope. And 2017 over 101? <coughs> so, and none of these. Uh, divide, divide two zero one seven, and therefore, this is as simple as it gets. Two zero one seven over nine 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 nine. Okay, similar trick here. Suppose that we say that x is uh, two zero one seven. 20.17 and the 17 is repeating. In this case, there are two repeating digits. Uh, therefore, we'll multiply by 10 to exponent 2, which is 100. So 100x is 2017.17 repeating. And then 100x minus a single x is 2017 with the fractional 17 repeating and then minus 0 0.17 with the fractional 17 repeating. And again, this is arranged so that this and this will cancel. So that 99x is, is equal to 2017. And then we can solve for x. It's 201, uh, 2017 <coughs> over 99. And for the reasons we already uh, tried above, uh, that's as simple as it gets. Next question. Okay, so I'll simplify the things inside of the parentheses uh, as much as possible. So in the first place, uh, w to 4 over w to 7, that cancels and leaves three w's in the denominator. So that'd be w to exponent 3, and the w's are gone. <coughs> Here, uh, I'll move the y to negative 3 to the numerator, so this would be y to 5 and y to 3, because those 5 were already there, and I moved those 3 up. Now I'll switch the positions of these two. This w to negative 2, I'll move it to the denominator, and this y to negative 9, I'll move it to the numerator, and this is still 3. So now I'll combine these. I can see that uh, I'll combine the denominator so it looks like w to exponent 3 multiplied by w to exponent 2, and then y to exponent 5 times y to exponent 3 times y to exponent 9, and then all to 3. So that would be uh, what? <coughs> 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 9 more is 17, so y to 17, and then divide by uh, w and there's three of them there and two of them there, so five of them all together to exponent three. And then that would be uh, distributing that y to 17 to exponent three, and then w to exponent five to exponent three. Three times 17 is uh, 30 plus 21, so 51, y to exponent 51 and then divide by uh, 5 times 3 it is 15 so w to exponent 15 quick check okay looks good <coughs> so in scientific notation okay so then to get this to be right i need to move the decimal place 1 2 three places to the left. 
So three places to the left. As a result, the number will be 1.3142017. Uh, and then I'll have to say multiplied by 10 to exponent 3. <coughs> and then the request is to write this in the standard form. Uh, OK, so I'll need to move, because of this, uh, to write it in standard form. I'll move the point 8 places to the right. So that would be 2, 9, 9, 7, 9. And then it was there, so I'm going to move it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it was there, and it had to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 positions. So there's a 0, a 0, a 0, and a 0. OK. Comma. Comma. <coughs> and then <coughs> the last exercise. OK, so the first step is I'll simplify this as much as possible. So this would be uh, the square root of 8 can be represented as 2 to exponent 3. And then I'll cancel uh, one of the x's so that I get uh, x to exponent 3. And then divide by, uh, I'll write 81 as 9 to exponent 2. So then uh, the square root distributes to numerator and denominator <coughs> to obtain that this is the square root of 2 cubed x cubed and then divided by the square root of 9 squared. Well, the factors come out in pairs. There's three of these, uh, and a pair of them can come out as a 2. Uh, and a pair of these can come out as an x, but each one of those leaves uh, something in the denominator, uh, something in the radical. Okay, so here's these two came out. This pair of twos came out as a two. This pair of x's came out uh, as an x, and they each left one behind. And then the square root of nine squared is nine. Okay, similar similarly for this one. Uh, well, this is cube root, and then I can express 32 as 2 to exponent 5, and then this will be w to exponent 4, and then x to exponent 2. So now, things can still come out, uh, but instead of coming out in pairs, they come out in triples. So here's five twos in a row. Uh, three of them can come out as a 2. And here's four w's in a row. Three of them can come out as a single w. And then what's left is cube root of, well, we took away three, so that's two to exponent two. <coughs> uh, we took away three of these, so there's just a single w. And then we weren't able to take out any x's because there was not a triple. And that's the answer.